All right, here we go. So we're working on getting the same feeling again and again, just opening the hips uh, immediately, uncoiling at the start, and then getting the knee pointing outward, heel going back and loading in the toe. Yeah, it's a big surf. We're mic'd up. My surf. I'm basically just starting to uncoiled. Basically I had this issue with my knee buckling like this because I was shoving my hip out. If you uncoil your hip, the knee can't do that. It's impossible. I'm doing that and it automatically locks my foot. The next thing I do to double lock it is I push this knee outward. And the third thing I do to lock it is to make I feel like that heel is pointing to the back fence. Once I get that like feeling locked in, then I can continue to work on my verticality. I can still toss it actually this way and I can go forward with the weight that way and I can get that confidence instead of my body weight falling this way to go out wide. So I can still toss it behind me, but because that weight's going this way and the knee's all projecting correctly, I can actually go confidently that way out wide with the toss being behind me, which is perfect. It's what I, it's what I want. God, this grip's gonna fall out of my hand. I'm whipping a serve so fast. Okay, a bit more kick. Oh, now I need to jump, jump, jump. Don't be scared to go that way. Don't be scared. There we go. That's much better. Nice return. Dude, my grip is literally <laughs> slipping out of my hand. I'm going to change my I'm going to change my grip real fast. I'm about to chuck my racket by accident. Dude, what is my ISO on this? Why did I put my ISO at 800? Well, let's just hope it's not grainy. Joey and I are talking. I'm on the camera if I look crazy, Steve. So basically, it's like, let's try this feeling out. So basically, start on the heel, toe up, right? And then do all the stuff. So basically, do the uncoil, knee out, do the heel stuff. But just start like this and feel the weight press into the toe. So instead of like rocking back and then going forward. Literally just start here and then try it. So it's like a step. It's pretty big. Yeah, that feels not bad. All right, I felt like a good step into it. Like you feel the pressure. Like it's a good start, way to push the brain in that, in that mode. It's a golf thing where they'll do this. They'll like start like with a stomp or something like that and it activates this part of the brain that they'll do as a as a drill you'll do like this to initiate your backswing and so it's the same it's like initiating i mean the only thing i'm scared of is i might rock back so i have to be really disciplined right. in the first month of doing it now just talking about the whole starting with your hands in front on your back foot heel to toe just strictly how does that feel? It feels like I get that movement forward. Like it's like almost impossible to not do it. Like you just feel the load going forward. It's another border to not mess up, to like guide you in the right direction. Basically to eliminate wrong stuff. I feel like I could, I could load harder. I really pushed into it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I feel I can bang it if I wanted to, like with that toe step. Like you feel like super good, like a load gets a lot harder. You get more power into the load. I like it a lot. Yeah, I feel, it feels really good now. I like that, thank you. If it gets too far out in front, I get a little bit too horizontal. But I can try, let me try tossing it out far in front and getting vertical still. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I can get it far in front and be vertical. It's a funny the thought, probably something's not changing much, but the idea of getting vertical does make a difference. It's just weird how the brain works. Like you can have a swing thought, it might not actually do anything, but it changes the swing and it makes it better, which I guess it is doing something. It just doesn't feel like it. Tennis, golf, human body mechanics. What can you say? Okay, get vertical and toss it in front. Load it into the toe. Oh yes, that's it, I got it. I can toss it, load hard in the toe, toss it way forward and get vertical, dude. Oh my God, yes, it's bouncing so high, this is perfect. Oh my God, my serve just got crazy good. Holy crap, that was magic key. Tossing it forward and going vertical still and loading hard into the toe and getting that movement. Bro, my serve just got so good. Those last four, like those are perfect. Hard in the toe. Yes, dude, holy crap. I fell a little bit to the right though. Now if I can slice it and do that, oh, if I can get a little bit more slicing with it. Oh my God, it's game over. These people aren't gonna return my serve. Dude, I'm starting to make so many serves too now. This is why college tennis is stupid. They don't teach you, they make you worse. Come on, slice it. There it is. Yes, that's the one. That's the one. 
that serve is going to be insane, hardly, insanely hard to pick up. Now, if I can get a bit more vertical, a little bit higher bounce, I'll slice, and that'd be insane. Oh my God, this serve is so nasty. That one was me thinking vertical, forward, like toss really far forward, getting way vertical and then slicing it. And just like going for it like really vertical and then slice. Nope, that was awful. I didn't feel that good. 